Austin McBroom posted a series of Instagram stories, not only calling out people to box, but directly calling out Logan, Jake, and Bryce Hall. Um, calling them, calling them ducks. He called me a duck. Calling them ducks. What do I do? What do I do? I, I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to handle this. That's because I've never been insulted in that way. I just it's like just a farm animal. Listen, <laughs> here's the thing, man. Austin's got great hair. So good. I've seen him a million times. He gets out the orange Lambo with yeah. the hair, with the curls. And the kids. He got those kids. He's got kids. He's a great family man. Yep. But he never struck me as the kind of guy that was going to throw bows, dude, or, or hands at all, which is why he travels with those large security men everywhere. He a lot goes. of them. So many. And so it's just my my question on this is what, what the fuck is going on here, dude? And is he really coming for my team right now, bro? And I speak of I'm speaking about you. Like, is, he, is this real? I don't know. It's it's a, it's a good it's a good play to get some attention uh, quickly. And because he did. He called out uh, Bryce Hall. He called out me and Jake, and he made a comment, some shit like, yo, y'all are acting like vets. You know, you've only been boxing like two or three years. I've been an athlete my whole life. Like, we, it's the same story. We Which just I heard did, it over. I did slightly agree with that point. Uh, slightly. Because I think agree, you guys are Agree, agree. Yeah. But compared to Austin, yeah, we're fucking vets. Yeah, yes, we'll, correct. We'll, we, correct. We're fucking vets, That's brother. a good point. If you have zero days in the ring, then you are, then. Compared to Austin, yeah, we're fucking vets. Sense. Right, right. Put respect respect on boxing and uh, in the scope of boxing, no fucking way. Both of us, not, we're not even close to being veterans, not even a conversation. But compared to Austin, I just am confused what his motives were here. I thought it was a joke at first and Jake started chirping back about Catherine, wow. Austin's wife being in his DMs. Oh. And Catherine said, yo, delete the story. Like, what's going on yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. We know too much. It's a dangerous game for Austin. It's a very dangerous game because it's so much more than just the fight. Mm -hmm. There's there's a lot of chirping. There's a lot that gets exposed. If you have something in your life that hasn't come out yet, trust it'll come out in the press conferences. Um, my advice to Austin, I don't, I don't know if you're serious, I'd say stick to making juice. You're doing good with the family channel. Boxing, it, it, I don't think it'd suit you. Um, unless, unless you're really down. He says he has five mil. Yeah, that was something yeah. that stuck out to me too. Yeah, he said he had five mil to someone who could box him. Look, I'll I'll take the five mil. I told I commented. I said I'll do like I'm not even kidding. I'll do it one arm behind my back. I'd be I beat him with one arm behind my back. You choose the arm. Um, I would I would hope you put the right behind your back, man. <laughs> you weren't gonna throw <laughs> it. Well, guess what? Guess what? I'm, still throwing, I'm throwing it now. I'm throwing it now. It's still throwing it now. He is left but, but, but fucking lethal, bro. It's tied. It's it's teed up a very interesting. Uh, conversation for 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 jake and i it just because say jake wins the nate fight and then he calls out austin right away like that's another easy w that'll get views as well like it's all about it's <clears throat> all about securing securing w's and getting viewership time for me to time for me to sure. go play devil's avocado for a second that man is in in has always been in good shape he is an athlete he really is a fucking athlete. You've seen him play basketball. You've seen him play a ton of different sports. We'll, we'll see how. We'll, okay, I so we'll see how I the think, basketball player I does you. against the boxer. I, listen, I in hear, twelve days. I hear you. Right. Got that. Got. I, great point. Great point. But I. But I. I think that if he were to put in, now he would need three years of training, and he would need you guys to stop training for him to catch up on a on a, a skills based level, unless he thinks he's just going to go in there and dog you. <sighs> It's tough, dude. You, it's tough to dog a person who's boxing and not fighting, not street fighting with big overhand punches. If I'm if I'm boxing you tactically, like being a technician in there, it's tough to dog. It's tough to dog a boxer, dog. especially in a ring with gloves Once on. Again, on the devil's avocado. Sure, that's how the boy KSI got it done. Both fights with that overhand right. Sure, but also his his boxing ability is good. Good. Good, good he, boxer. He's not a street fighter. He right. he's in there boxing. He's trained. Yep. Yep. Dog, dog is huge in that one. And huge. They say it's not about the size of the dog in the fight. They say it's about the size of the fight in the dog. Nice.